Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and I've talked a lot about TailScale, how to use it, how to use it with PFSense, how to use it with your own coordination server, and I'm really impressed with how well TailScale works. You'll find those videos linked down below. Now, I've used TailScale a lot while I'm traveling, and I think it's kind of neat that I can choose my home PFSense server as an exit node. But what if you could choose a privacy VPN? What if you have a need for your privacy VPN to pop you out at different locations around the planet, such as all the locations available through Mulvad? TailScale announced a part partnership with Mulvad, and this is a beta feature, but I've been testing it and it works pretty well. I want to talk about how it works and, well, the UI could still use a little bit of tweaking, but hey, I think it's kind of a neat option and it's all of $5 a month for up to five devices. And I'm going to show you how to configure it. It's pretty simple. Now, before we get into the how it works, let's talk about something really quick in terms of privacy. Mulvad on TailScale privately browse the web. Now, the thing that's really important here is you're buying this service through TailScale. Their current pricing is $5 per month for up to five devices paid to TailScale. And per their description, TailScale is handling the coordination, but not passing any information over to Mulvad. Your data goes into the TailScale system. You're controlling and coordinating your servers there through their coordination server. But if you choose to use an exit node, that is still going to be your user device talking directly to the internet through Mulvad. And the traffic will be encrypted between your device and Mulvad. But Mulvad has no information of who you are other than a TailScale user who initiated ver via the Mulvad API, they don't have any other information to tie that together for you. They explain this a little bit more in detail, but I'll leave this link down below so you can read further through it and let that be something that does or does not concern you, but at least you have access to the information for how that works. Setting this up is really easy. I'm logged into my TailScale account and I can see my devices that are connected. We're going to go over here to settings and we're going to go down here to where it says Mulvad VPN beta and we're going to click configure. Now I've already purchased it so it lets me add these devices. If I wanted to add or remove devices, I could simply click this to add them or this to remove them. Now four devices with access total per month with five available and we would just click save for any changes we make. Now, I have not tested this as PFSense exiting Mulvad. That's something I'm testing in the future for those wondering. Leave some comments down below if you want to see me get that going. Once you've done that, this is where things get really easy. I'm doing this in Windows to make it easier to display, but this does work from the Linux command line as well. We make sure TailScale has been launched. We click on the device and we choose the exit node. And the problem I found, and this is the bug, if you will, is that it doesn't give me a scroll bar to choose the exit node. I have to click on these tiny, tiny little arrows here, and then I can choose which exit node I want. And I can't hold it down and scroll. I'm hoping this is a UI bug that gets fixed in the future. I found this kind of annoying, but this is still beta, so that's an issue you will have to deal with. It doesn't have the most easiest way to select them at the moment I'm recording this, but it does work. Something of note, when you choose Nolvad as an exit node, there's probably about a 15 second delay before it connects, so you will be unable to ping things. But once it works, we can open this up and we can see my IP address provided to me from Molvad, showing me in Stockholm. Now, other than my complaints about the UI in Windows, and of course this UI problem persists in the Android version, which I checked it and it's as up to date as can be. It just lets you scroll easier on Android than it does on Windows. I think this is a pretty cool service. I didn't have any problems with it. Just as long as you know, there's roughly a 10 or 15 second delay from when I chose that exit node till it started working, which of course makes you think the computer went haywire for a moment because 15 seconds is an eternity not to have internet apparently. Well, at least it is for me. Love hearing from you. Leave your thoughts and comments down below along with check out all my other videos on TailScale. Like and subscribe if you want to see more content from this channel and connect with me on whatever socials or forums, which you'll all find linked at lawrencesystems.com whenever you're watching this video. All right, and thanks.